Ladies and gents, welcome to day one of work on Arcana. I'm finally back home, all snuggled up nice and warmly inside four coder, back in C, back in my goddamn element. It's been a hot minute since I've touched this code base and my mindset has changed quite a bit since I've left off. So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do, I reckon, first things first, you see all this? We're gonna eat it all, wave goodbye, fresh start, fresh level. Now, I got to thinking just before I came, I asked myself, should the world be procedurally generated or should we do like a hand place level type thing, right? Um, now that part of me that likes a good challenge was like ah procedural definitely let's go me like you but i dug a little deeper and i was like no we're not gonna do that this game's designed to be played through only once okay it's story driven uh if we procedurally generate the world then most players wouldn't even fucking realize it right they're only gonna play through once and then i mean of course some people come back and replay the game but it's not meant to be replayed you know it's a one and done type thing like a condom you don't you don't reuse that shit you just like flip it on the inside out put it back on you're good to go don't do that okay bad idea um so yeah uh so to save time insanity we're going with the handcrafted level okay uh that way i can make it look exactly how i want it to look and save a lot of time that otherwise would have been spent fluffing around with procedural generation all right we don't want that. uh now to craft a nice level a man needs infrastructure and tools okay for accomplishing such a task so today i'm gonna be uh programming up a big old system uh for quick and easy map iteration and get that puppy serialized to disc asap okay so boys and girls grab yourself a nice beverage of choice i've got here with me a nice carton of ice coffee which i will be glug glug glugging down my throat <sighs> Now let's get some goddamn work done. So first things first, of course. Let's get rid of everything. Let's get rid of everything. <laughs> All right, where is it? Create world. I see you, bitch. I see you. Come here. Come here. Where are you? Where are you? Generate? Generate test platform. Where are you being called? I have completely forgotten how to use hard four code hotkeys. How do I search? Here we go. Generate test platform. How do I iterate to the next one again? Oh, downwards. There we go. There we go. Create world. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Test Platform. Burn it all. Oh, shit. <laughs> that really is just nothing, eh? <laughs> Where'd the play again? Go. Where the player go? Where are you, bitch? Come here. Run. Run. <laughs> Run is going bye-bye. I don't know why the player's gone now. That's just weird. The player should be being initialized right here. Strange. Hmm. Um. I don't have an entity list that I can see. Why? No, I don't. All right, let's uncomment that. Put it back in. Like, the play is literally being initialized straight afterwards. Like, I don't get why. Maybe there's something, something fucky going on in generate test platform. So, generate test platform. Uh, this right here is the ground being generated. There's Ron being created, Runic Enchanter, Elemental Skill Tree, and the just background stuff, which I have literally manually placed bit by bit, like some sort of ape. Yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, that's real strange. I don't know what's going on there. Arrrr. Maybe it's got something to do with chunks. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try and bring back some of the uh, some of the debug menus. See if the uh, the player has actually been rendered properly. Because like, look at this. I'm clicking. I've got this UI still, right? Where's the uh, what's the inventory UI? It's letting me build for some reason. And this is a camera pause. All right. It's not changing. Like, yes, maybe the player is falling straight away, but I don't see why the camera wouldn't be falling. Can't see anything. Very strange. All right. Let's uh, let's get some of these windows back in. Got that entity one. Oh God. It's been. So so long. I have no idea where anything is. Yeah, so this is a UI. I think I've got something in here with the debug. Uh, draw editor UI. Yep. Ready to rumble. All right. This is the entity editor. It is showing absolutely nothing. We are not there. The player isn't there. I, I feel like that kind of confirms my suspicion of the player not being there. You know what I mean? I think you boys know what I mean. Okay, Derek. So why isn't the player actually uh, being put in? Going to the world. It, it, it feels so good to be doing this again. I love this so much. So for some reason, it's being it's in this generate test platform that the player is just not being created anymore which is very weird like why why would that be the case like is there something i'm overlooking chunks are being created that's all i know but the player shouldn't care about that see the player doesn't get initialized in there it gets initialized after generate test platform so for some reason there's some code in generate test platform that is like allowing the whole world to exist right which shouldn't be the case like it should only just be generating everything on screen here just uncomment a shit ton of things Go over you as well then. and you and you she you know what let's get rid of all of you all right so we're in now at what point do we not get in then? Once we get rid of everything, like all this, all this, all of this, and that should be everything. Function's still being called, and now my man doesn't exist. All right, let's put Ron in. Just Ron. Ron's gonna be our savior. Watch this. Yeah, Ron's our savior. See, where the fuck is Ron though? Ron's disappeared. Oh, oh. Ron's disappeared. Ron has disappeared. Where did Ron go? Is it perhaps maybe the first element created, the first entity in the array isn't being rendered properly? See, the player is here, but Ron is not. What if we put the runic enchanter here? Does that mean the runic enchanter comes in? 
Rune, but Ron still doesn't. Yeah, look, it's there. But Ron is nowhere to be seen. Now, if we switch Ron and the Runic Enchanter around, Ron will be there, but the Runic Enchanter will not. That is my theory. Look at that. Ron's here. Everybody say hi to Ron. Everybody say goodbye to Ron. Our goal right now, boys, simple, okay, is get Ron to appear. That's all. Index, entity take first entity plus one. Well, that's why it's starting at one instead of zero. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, candidate is the next one, which is the player. It's literally starting at one instead of zero. And then the entity pointer is being put to next entity straight away instead of the first entity. Case solved. Now, before I go ahead and remove the plus one, there's got to be some sort of reason to it. I didn't write this code. Ryan, Ryan wrote this. Like, I think it might have just been pseudo code, though, honestly. Entity take first entity. And the first entity is here. Why is it being plus one? Let's just try and get rid of the plus one. Shouldn't do anything. But in here, yeah, we've got big run. Big run is here. Maybe I came in here one day. I was like, why is there an L sleep here? And then I just got rid of it. Run is here. Woo! Yeah, go Ron. <laughs> Ron is the boss for lost. Hell yeah. This is what the starting area looks like. It's just a bunch of ground. And then we've got, of course, old mate Ron. He's kind of just chilling here, vibing, doing what Ron does best. And uh, what else? We've got some like trees in the background. Nice little twee or something. Who knows? Uh, where am I going with this? You might ask. I feel like I have dementia. <laughs> okay, Derek. So this ground right here. So this is going to be, this is kind of the only data that's, that's, that's going to get serialized. Okay. So we've got the ground. It's just segments like this of varying levels. And that's going to create the entire ground. So when that gets saved, that's all we're going to save. And then once it comes back in at runtime, uh, we're then going to shade this as uh, as actual ground, right? So we're going to give it the pixels and shit. All right. So the way I'm generating the ground here is I am just doing it procedurally, right? Uh, based off of the height of um, just this. So this this right here is pretty cool. I was, uh, I was actually pretty proud of this. This is done with pearl and noise. That looks pretty decent. Looks a bit weird towards the edges there, but not too shabby, right? And then the way I'm getting the height for all these line segments here, if I go into the collision, actually, I don't have this editor anymore. Rip. Uh, but basically, these are all a bunch of small little line segments. This editor is so scuffed at the moment. There to there, there to there. The way that that's being generated is it's generating the ion and then it's getting the height of this. But we want to do it the other way around. We want to enforce a ground first, map it out with the, with the editor, save it, okay? And then get the ground from it. So we're not... Doing doing it that way around, we're doing it in reverse. How would this work? How would the UI for this work? Like you click on it, maybe make it a button. We like click on it and drag it, like just click and drag it in. Maybe you could just click on it once and then it puts it in the center of your screen. Then we just go like click on the ground segment, pops one in and you can edit it. Position, line, I need to fill out the line, the shape of it. So physics, friction, mass, we need all this. Copy that over and fill it out accordingly. Uh, physics shape line dot P2. Shape dot line dot. So we go P1 and P2, right? P1 dot X, negative 10. P2 dot X, positive 10. That should just give us a flat line, hopefully. Let's see if it works. <laughs> it didn't like that. Left of physics specifies undefined struct. Good point. We're gonna have to break this out into a CPP. Entity presets dot CPP. To put this bad boy in there, change this to just that, and then include it in the compilation unit it's still seen on cpp we're not in c plus plus i don't know why it defaulted to cpp god damn that is an old habit oh i guess they die hard all right there we go Alrighty, so as soon as I click this ground segment, one should appear in front of my very eyes in the center of the screen. It really hasn't. At least we tried, boys. That might work. Maybe. It does. Easy peasy. I'm in squeezy. So many ground segments. Hey, 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 let's go. So I think we might even leave it at that for today, honestly. Thank you, boys, so much for tuning in for today's video. It's been fun. It feels so goddamn good to be back in game development. Adios, amigos. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.